So as an immigrant who has fallen in love with this country, for what it's worth, please allow me to speak to the rest of the world in America's defense for a moment, because Donald Trump does not reflect America. I mean, to be, to be completely honest, to be completely honest, he, he does reflect it a bit, but... <laughs> The point is, America is not one thing. It's a beautiful mess of contradictions where good and bad are mixed together. On one hand, it makes Mountain Dew, which tastes like a honeydew melon was fucked by a radioactive clown. <laughs> On the other hand, it also made this awesome bed shaped like the Batmobile. You can fall asleep in that thing and be Batman if Batman somehow got locked out of the Batcave and had to sleep in his car. But that's the American dream right there. America is the country that came up with YouTube, which, yes, I know, gave you in the world that shithead Logan Paul. But it also gave you those videos of adults in T-Rex suits on dirt bikes, <laughs> ballet dancing, exercising, and doing basic car repairs. <laughs> and, and by the way, that magnificent dinosaur costume, that's an American idea, too. The, the point is, America is the country that gave you Star Wars, you're welcome, and Scientology, we're sorry about that. And, and sometimes what's great and terrible about us is just impossible to separate. Like, like Popeye's chicken. It's objectively disgusting, but I would run across traffic to eat this shit. But the point is, Trump is the worst of us, yes, but he's not all of us. If I did distill America down to one sound, it wouldn't be the braying voice of Donald Trump screaming, America first. It would be the gorgeous voices of the New York City Gay Men's Chorus singing this song. Somebody once told me the world is gonna That's right. That's All Star by Smash Mouth. A terrible, stupid song being sung absolutely beautifully. This should be our new national anthem. And so, please, world, for the next three or seven or somehow 11 years, please remember this is the country of Donald Trump, yes, but it's also the country of people profoundly embarrassed by it and the country that brought you inflatable dinosaur costumes and fucking Batman beds.